Today we are in Keystone because the weather in Breckenridge was pretty bad, it was snowing and I think Keystone has always better weather so here we are but right now we are going to do some rail laps and then we're gonna play one really fun game it was Henry's idea so pretty much it's like game of ski but just you have the same rail all the time and the same trick so we're both trying to do it and then uh, we don't have a great name for the game yet, so if you have any ideas, then let us know in the comments. And the loser, and the, the one who plays first is the loser. So let's go skiing and try to find out the game. Unnatural front swap, front swap, and then the press two. Okay. So now we are going to practice that one for two laps, and then the game will start. Boom. So we are ready to play. So lap one, let's go. Left two, let's go. Henry's one was pretty sketchy one, but I think we'll count it, so we'll keep playing. Like, this trick was quite easy, and uh, you, you wouldn't have failed this time. So, the next next lap, the plan was to do like front swap and uh, press four, but now we don't have to do it because Henry lost and I won. Congratulations! Thank you. You're welcome. But now, let's keep having fun. If I'm doing something with his hair, because it hurts, but we need to do something. Hey! Comment below what do you think if Henry should cut his hair or not. I think he should. No. Because these are way too long. No. But he doesn't want to, but I really want. So let us know in the comments what do you think. It would be cool. And also you can suggest some cool, cool haircuts for men. So I'm... Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> So right now we are going to do the registration for Deodor and maybe after that we can go and have a look on the modified superpipe or the, the course. I so hope I can do the foreign. Yeah, me too. It's uh, gonna be so sick if they do the same course. Yeah, I would love to ski with you there. So, uh, but yeah, let's go and do the registration now. So we made it up and luckily there were some mosquitoes down there and we asked if they can take us up and they did so we didn't have to hike but we are here and the pipe looks huge i'm so scared but i think it's gonna be really fun so i'm excited so the pipe and rails are way too crazy but i'm pretty excited so and luckily henry can ski on the course as well so that's nice but now 
we are going back to your hotel because I have an interview with ESPN and then we'll see you tomorrow when the course is open. I just wanted to have fun and enjoy and do my thing. We are on our way back home and dude, there was so much fun and also it ended really well for me so I'm really really happy but now why I didn't compete in half my so during gym practice I think it was my second run when I crashed and hit my right quad muscle a bit I'm not sure if I hit it with my ski or just fell on the rail or hit it with the rail but uh, yeah so after that I did three more practice runs I think and then two bump runs I didn't do the third one because after the second one my uh, leg got a bit worse so that's why I didn't compete, compete in halfpipe but right now my leg is really good, so it was nothing bad, that's good. But now you can see my best conference. ...of this competition as we look up top at your current leader. As we mentioned before, we took a look back to two years ago at this event. She was the reigning 2016 champ. She sits in the top spot as of right now. What can she do to improve that score here in round number two? Wow, gorgeous right side 900. Locking in the lead tail means she grabs with the arm that's uh, leading the spin in many ways. Here's a switch. Left side, 1080. Wow. Boom. What a run right there. Back to back Two switch great tens. Runs. Throw away a run from now. This young lady has been in the driver's seat throughout this entire competition. On everyone's mind, can anyone catch up to her? She's just been skiing so confidently. Everything has just looked smooth and just very calculated and just uh, borderline perfection for oh her. Kelly Silderu. Oh my gosh. Again, that front swap pretzel 450. Incredible. Into the K-Fed. Just glorious. She's so consistent in addition to being so good. I had a check in a second to uh, speak with her briefly earlier. And she, all she had time to say was she absolutely loves the rail section. And that's certainly showing right now. Uh, it showed in the jumps for sure. She was oh obviously feeling gosh. no pain on the jumps either. And now I really can't wait to get back home. So I think we can end this vlog. So if you like this video, put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and lights out.